everybody welcome back to my channel hope everybody's having a great day da, da, da. hope everything's going away today today we gonna be playing in makeup yes today i'm gonna be using products that i found when i was shopping my stash yes my overrun underused stash so if you want to just hang out with me while i try out these products i have here just okay, everybody, on. let's get started. Man. Okay, guys, so yeah. This is not going to be a tutorial or a review. More like a first impression, yeah. And while most of the products I'm going to use today are by no means new to the market, I've never used them before, so yeah. They're new to me. And while I won't be exactly reviewing the products, if I like them, I'll let you know. And if I don't, I'll let you know that too. So let's get started. Okay, guys, so I've already done my brows off camera because, yeah, ain't nobody got time for that. And for my brows, I actually used the Maybelline Tattoo Studio Brow Pomade. And I use it in the shirt. Black Brow. And, guys, I actually got this Brow Pomade at the Maybelline booth at BeautyCon, which was in August, yeah. And it's October now, and your girl's just not using it. And not because I didn't think it would be good, but your girl has somewhat commitment issues when it comes to her brows. And I must admit, guys, I was pleasantly surprised when I used it. It kind of reminds me a little bit of my Elf Brow Pomade, in that while it's emollient, it still has enough tug to give you the control you need to make your brows nice and defined without slipping all over the place, or... I really do like this pomade. I like it a lot. But about these eyes, though. I'm gonna be using the Glam Life Viva Taco Pally. And while some people might believe that Glam Life palettes are pretty gimmicky, when it comes to eyeshadow palettes, your girl doesn't discriminate. And of course, the packaging is shaped and designed just like a taco. When you open it up, it has a decent sized mirror, which I think is a big plus for indie brands to have a mirror in their palettes. When you open her up, guys, here are the colors. Would you look at them? Would you look at them? Would you look at them? Is it 15 shades in this palette? Um, do it say? Do I gotta count? The palette has, okay, how many is, okay, Lily. Okay, before you come to the people, how many is mattes and how many is shimmers? One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It has 15 shades. Is it seven? One, two, three, four, five, six. It has 15 shades, seven shimmers, and the rest are all mattes. And of course, the shades in the palette are named after taco toppings. And I don't really know which direction I want to go with my eye look today. But what I will say is these greens in the palette are looking awfully tempting. So, green eye look it is. And I don't really have a new eyeshadow base to use today. And if I did, I probably wouldn't use it anyway. I'm going in with my P. Louise eyeshadow base in rumor three. Because, guys, you already know, I've been using this eye base for eons. And I'll be using it for many more eons to come. Because it's just that good. And the good news, guys, is that it's now sold by Morphe. So, uh, you don't have to wait an extra long time for it to ship to you. But most of all, you don't have to pay a grip for shipping from the U.K. So needless to say, when I found out that they were selling the P. Louise base at Morphe, your girl racked up. First, going in with this shade Lime here, I'm going to put that in the crease. And I'll be using a small motor studio packing brush that I got from one of my boxy subscription boxes to get that done. Okay, guys. 
while it's not initially super duper pigmented out the gate, yeah, it seems to build up quite well. And I'm trying to keep it as much above my lid as possible. Uh, with the way I'm feeling today, guys, yeah, your girl may or may not cut the crease. And in case I don't, I want the shimmers that I apply to my lid to be pretty opaque. Guys, it feels like forever since I actually sat down and did a get ready with me type video with you guys. And so much has transpired since my last makeup play video. As you guys, my peeps already know, your girl actually went to Vegas for a girl's trip with my good friends here on YouTube, Colorful Camille, aka KK, and just Peachy D, aka DJ. And when I say we had a good time, guys, we had a good time. So first, I met up with DJ and KK in Vegas. Which, by the way, your girl was pretty reluctant to do it, because, yeah. That was during the time of that big grasshopper breakout that they had going on in Vegas. Mm -mm. And one thing I'll tell you about your girl, she doesn't do anything with more than four legs. Yeah. She definitely doesn't do anything that hops. But I'm happy to report, guys, that it was a total false alarm. Because I told Sam there, we only saw two grasshoppers. One was totally dead, and the other was totally on the outskirts of Vegas. Which totally goes to show that you can believe half of what you see and none of what you hear. Guys, so far, I'm quite impressed with the performance of the mats in this palette, even though I only used one, but there's no fallout, and there's no kick up in the paint. I'm just going in with this shade guacamole. I'm going to blend that directly on top of line. I'm actually going to use my Morphe 506 brush to get that done. Okay, maybe I'm not going to use the Morphe 506 brush to get that done. And where's my other brushes? Okay, Lily, where's your other brushes at? Okay, you got some more brushes to use. You, you need to figure it out because that's not doing the trick. You need to find one that's going to do the trick. You need a nice, dense brush, okay? We're going to have to use that other one I had. So this is not, that's not, that's, 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 that's not going to cut the mustard. I mean, it's a little better. Which one is this? The BH Pro. Okay, guys, I'm going in with the BH Pro 8 brush. Let's see if that's any better. Hmm. It's a little better. It's all right. It's cool. And while we were in Vegas... We actually ate a bubblegum shrimp. And that was actually my first time eating there. And guys, it was delicious. And then we ate at this bomb.com chicken and waffle place. Which I don't remember the name. So I put it on the screen somewhere. And the chicken and waffle place that we ate at had some real good food, guys. The waffle was nice and fluffy. The chicken was nice and golden and brown. And a plus was the fact that they actually served Kool-Aid. And we actually ate there when we were leaving Las Vegas. But not before getting on a New York, New York roller coaster. Which was totally fun. And your girl had been on a roller coaster in almost 20 years. But I found this to be a very fun and exhilarating experience. And then fast forward to Cali. We went to BeautyCon. And guys, now beauty con, yeah. That was a whole different bowl of fun. It is nothing but merely an amusement park for makeup lovers. They have several booths there with different brands, and it's not just makeup. They also have skincare, health food, all kind of stuff in beauty con. 
And when I say we got a lot of free stuff, guys, we got a lot of free stuff. All right. Of course, you have to follow everybody on Instagram to get it, but it was still nice to get free stuff nonetheless. Nicolette, I am talking in my video. What do you want? Oh. What? Thought you was done. No, Nicolette, videos take time, okay? Go find you something to do till I'm done filming. I'm not. I'm filming. I told y'all I was going to be filming. Bye. Bye. Later. And of course, all the free stuff was on top of the swag bag that they gave us for paying for the VIB hauler bag. And guys, that bag contains skincare, makeup, more skincare, more makeup. Guys, if that bag didn't weigh almost 30 pounds, it didn't weigh anything. That bag was so heavy that on the way to the car, I almost started to give some of my goodies away. And guys, I know my eye look is looking a little shamrock right now, but... Hi, my name is Lily. Welcome to my channel. Okay, guys, now the part that everybody came here for. The lid. First, going in with this shade Pico de Gallo. I'm going to put that on the first third of my lid. Nicolette, would you take her out for walking? Would you take her? You, no, you don't have to take her for a whole walk, but would you take her outside? Huh? Would you take her outside so she can use it? Okay. I just was washing my face, so I had to finish that. Oh, yeah, after you do that, that's fine. And I actually just wet my brush with a little Fix Plus. Oh, guys. That's cool. That is cur, 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 cur. But even with all the fun we had in Vegas and all the fun we had at BeautyCon, that wasn't even the highlight of the trip. We got matching tattoos. The heart and the infinity sign to represent eternal friendship. And even though our girl DJ is not about that tattoo life, she still sacrificed and got the little heart on her wrist. But since me and KK are about that tattoo life, we got another one on our inner wrist. And that's just how sure the three of us are that we will be friends forever. And even though that was all three of our first time ever meeting each other in person, when we got together, it was like old friends who knew each other for several years picking up where they left off. It was absolutely nothing awkward about it. And it made me so grateful that I found them. Okay, guys, now going in with this shade Salsa Verde, I'm going to put that on the second third of my lid. All right. That's cute. That is cur, 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 And I actually like the green and orange contrast, guys. It kind of reminds me of Halloween. And I'm so impressed by how these shadows are performing simply by wetting my brush. And lastly, guys, going in with this shade Cilantro, I'm going to put that on the outer third of my lid. And guys, these mats in this taco palette are absolutely stunning. And now I'm just trying to somewhat blend out the harsh lines. Guys, these shimmers in this palette blend together rather nicely. Okay, guys, and for lashes today, I'm going to be using Bold Face Lashes. And this is in the style Bold Face Forward. So I'm going to go ahead and pop on my lashes off camera. Then we'll be back to work on this complexion, though. Okay, everybody, I went on ahead, popped on my lashes. I'm actually feeling these bold face lashes, guys. 
Yeah, dramatic just like I like them without being too heavy. Now on the primer, I'm gonna be using this Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. Now guys, it looks like it's gonna be a little silicone-y and I'm not really into silicone-y type primers, but yeah. This is what we're doing today. This is what we're doing today. Yeah, it's got that silicone type feeling. But who knows, it might fill my pores. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this. Uh, guys, it feels kind of oily. I don't know how to feel about this primer, guys. Um, is there any other primer I have not tried before that I could use instead of this? Because, yeah, mm-mm. I'm not feeling this primer. Mm-mm, not at all. Okay, guys, I decided to abort that mission. I'm going to be using this Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Now, this is not new to the market by any means. It's been all the rave on the tube for quite a while now, so yeah. We gonna see what it do, what it do, what it do. Okay, is it coming out to pump any time today? Is, is it something I'm supposed to do other than pump it? I mean, I mean, there we go. Doesn't have a smell, not really. Slight smell of alcohol, but nothing overbearing. And it actually has like a gel type consistency to it. So yeah. I'm just going ahead and part of my face. Ooh. And it's got a nice, cool feeling to it, too, guys. Yeah. I actually feel it getting tacky. So it's going to be real interesting to see if this keeps my makeup in place all day. Okay, guys. Now that I've put on what I'm certain is way too much primer on the foundation, I'm going to be using... The Urban Decay Stay Naked Weightless Liquid Foundation. And this is in the shade 50 CG. So according to Urban Decay, I actually have a cool skin tone with an olive undertone. So it's going to be real interesting to see how this works out. Because all this time, I thought my skin tone was warm. Comes in a plastic container with a pump. I'm going to start with like two and a half healthy pumps. <sighs> Let's see what it do, what it do, shall we? Okay. This shade looks like it might work out. It would help if I were using Meridol. Okay, guys, I do believe this might be my shade. Hmm. And it does still give a decent amount of coverage. But I'm certain because my brush is brand new that it's soaking up a lot of the product. So I'm just going to use a couple more pumps. Okay, guys. While this foundation is most definitely a medium coverage foundation, I do find that it's quite buildable. And I absolutely love the finish. Now on the concealer... I'm going to be using this Milani Concealing Perfect Long Well Concealer. And I've got mine in the shade Medium Beige. This is actually my first time using it. I don't even recall hearing a lot of things about it on the tube or anywhere else for that matter. So we're going to just see how this works out. Okay, guys. It does have sort of a thin consistency. But it definitely looks like it might be full coverage. And I do actually like this applicator too, guys. And you guys already know I like to let my concealer sit for about a minute. I'm just going to blend it out with my Sonya Kasha sponge. Guys. <laughs> guys. This is definitely coverage. <laughs> oh, 
But one thing I can say about this concealer, guys, is a little definitely goes a long way. And then I just blend out my concealer with my foundation brush just to get rid of the harsh line. Okay, guys, and to set it all in place, I'm going in with my Cover FX Perfect Satin Powder. And this is in the shade Translucent Light. And I mean, I probably should be using something that's translucent medium because, yeah, this concealer is light enough without any help. It's very finely milled, guys. So, I'm going to just go ahead and set it everywhere where I have my concealer. And then to set the rest of my face, I'm going in with the Juvia's Place. I am Magic Satin Powder in the shade Kalahari. And this is actually a yellow based satin powder, if I recall, yes. It is quite yellow, guys. But then again, so am I. So I'm just going to use this to set the rest of my face. Yeah. I know it's a lot of powder. Of course, you guys already know that I like to seal the set with a pressed powder. So I'm going to be using the MAC Studio Fix Powder Plus Foundation. This is a foundation powder, basically. And I actually got the shade NC42. This looks like it might be in my shade. I mean, at least that's what the girl told me at all. So, so. And guys, I have been curious about this setting powder. But you guys know I swear by my BH Studio Pro Powder. And that's actually supposed to be a dupe for the Max Studio Fix Powder. Guys, I don't know if it's the Juvia's Place Sand Powder or the Max Studio Fix Powder, but between the two, I can't see a pore in sight. Guys, I'm quite happy with how my complexion has turned out so far, yeah. Now on the contour, I'm going to be using the Makeup Revolution London Roxy Roxasaurus Contour and Highlight Palette. And I do believe I've heard great things about this palette, so yeah, we're going to see today if you should believe the hype. It actually comes with four contours and four highlights. So I'm going in with this shade for my contour. And I'm actually going to be using my BA Studio Pro. Do this have a number? No. The BA Studio Pro fan brush. Okay. Okay, yes. That's a nice contour. But I'm only going to be concentrating that on the outer part of my jawbone. And I must admit, guys, this actually blends out quite well. Okay, guys, I do quite enjoy the contour out of this Roxy Roxy Zora's palette. And I can actually see this working for even a couple of shades darker than my skin tone because it is really quite buildable, guys. Now on the bronzer, I am finally going to be using my Sephora Pro Face Palette. And I actually have it in the shade medium. And guys, I was actually initially set on getting the shade dark. But after coming to my senses and back to reality, I realized that wouldn't have worked out well for me. Besides, guys, even the medium face palette is so stinking good. The palette has three highlights. What I would consider three blushes, a blush topper, and it also has a bronzer. So I'm going to be using this shade Groundbreaking here, and I'm going to use that to bronze up my face right quick. And I'm actually going to be using my Moda Studio Royal Lang Nickel Brush. Oh, guys, this is a nice bronzer. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. This is Lux. I love the way it blends. I love that it's buildable without being too pigmented in the game. Because as you know, your girl can definitely go overboard when it comes to bronzer. Okay, guys, and now going in with this shade Fabulosity, I'm going to go ahead and use that to blush up my cheeks. Okay, guys, this shade is cute. It does have a little bit of sheen to it, but I'm totally okay with it. Okay, and now going in with this shade First Class here. I'm going to go ahead and use that for my highlight. Okay, guys. It gives you a nice subtle highlight. Definitely not beaming by any means. But it's still a nice highlight indeed. And I'm actually going to hit a little bit on my brow bone. Okay, guys, I went on ahead and put a little powder into my eye to catch the fallout. So let's finish up these eyes, though. First, going in with lime. I'm putting that directly underneath my lower lash line. And then I'm just going to blend that out with guacamole. And I feel like I need to add a little bit of gold to the mix. So sure. How can I not? I'm going to go ahead and go in with Mexican cheese. And I'm going to put that in my inner corner. All right. That's cute. That is cur, 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 cur. I really like how it's a true gold. But when you layer it on top of the orange... It turns it into more like an 18 karat gold. Okay, guys, now that I'm totally impressed with the taco palette on the lips, I'm going to be using the Makeup Revolution Sofax Lipstick. And this is in the shade Syrup. And it's actually a nice new brown. This is a swatch of it right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply that on my lips right quick. And guys, normally this is the time when I would go in with a lip liner, but we're not doing that today. We're not doing that today. Oh. Hmm. Okay, guys. This is like a nice peachy type of nude, if you will. Most definitely my lips, but better. Oh, yeah. I like this lipstick. I like it a lot. Okay, guys, and lastly, going in with the NYX Professional Bear With Me Prime Set Refresh 8-Hour Multitasking Spray. I'm going to use this to set my face in place today. And this renovation is over. extra all the time okay everybody here's the finished look i don't have to say it but i'm gonna say it anyway i like how this turned out yes guys so guys well i'm totally happy with every single thing i use today and i'm truly happy with how my look turned out if there are one superstar in the bunch of it will most definitely, absolutely be the Glam Light Taco Palette. Guys, what more I need to say? What more I need to say? What more do I need to say? I love, 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 love this palette, guys. When looking at the finished product on my eyes, you can hardly tell that I didn't cut my crease. And you can hardly tell that I didn't even have to use glitter glue. All I did was wet my brush with a little Fix Plus for the shimmers out. I was good to go. And we're looking at the color story of the palette. This is most definitely a contemporary fall appropriate palette. 
guys. The mats blended so nicely and had little to no fallout. And while the shimmers did have quite a bit of fallout, the finished product on my lid made it well worth it. And for those of you guys, my peeps out there who are not at all into gimmicks, and I totally get it, if you can look past the packaging, I highly recommend this palette. But as I stated earlier, guys, I'm totally happy with how my look turned out. And there were most definitely no losers today. So I really want to thank you guys for hanging out with me today while I did absolutely nothing but play and make up. Yeah. I always love connecting with you guys, my peeps. Every chance I get. Every chance I get. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. It only gets greater later, guys. It only gets greater later. So until next time, guys, stay real, stay positive. Stay up, and damn it, you better watch, fight, and pray. Slow mo's, please. Hello. Just stay tight.